If you're still coding without these cursor features I'm about to show you, you're already behind. I'm talking years behind. Hey guys, Alex here, and today I'm revealing 10 cursor UI features that literally 10x your productivity. But before we dive into advanced stuff that separates pros from beginners, let me quickly show you basics if you're new to cursor. Alright, cursor basics in 40 seconds. Download it from cursor.com. Open any folder as your new project and boom, you've got IDE with AI. On the right side is your AI sidebar. You can toggle it with this button or with Ctrl or Command I. Now let's create some simple file and let's ask cursor to generate some simple code. As you can see it creates some changes in our main.py file. You can either reject or accept all of those changes. Now let's say we want to add something new by ourselves. And it instantly suggests some lines we may want it to write. You can accept them with tab. Got it? Good, cause now we're getting into real secrets. Secret number one. Master these shortcuts and you'll code faster than 90% of developers. Use Ctrl key for inline prompts. Highlight some text and use Ctrl Shift L to use it as context in your chat. As I've said before, use Ctrl I to toggle your sidebar or Ctrl N to create new chat. You can find full shortcut page in cursor documentation, but those are most relevant ones. Secret number two, most people use ad tags wrong. They mention one file and wonder why cursor doesn't understand their project. Here's how pros actually use them. Use add files and folders to mention some specific file you're working on, like main.py. You can use add docs to say cursor that hey, I want you to read documentation of this framework before answering me. For example, at next.js. Then we have a lot of other options, but most interesting one is web. So why do you need those? Because cursor will use information retrieved from these tags as additional context for your prompts, so responses are more accurate. Let's say we want to use web to find some really tasty cookie recipe and just print it in our file. Here you can find that it looked through some web pages and found best cookie recipes. Now you can simply accept this file he returned. And we have our new file cookierecipes.py, which basically prints recipe. Secret 3 add docs is literally cheating. Watch this, I'm giving cursor access to entire React documentation instantly. And let's say I wanted to explain me some concepts like what is use effect. And based on this documentation I've mentioned, it will now respond me with higher accuracy. If you can't find documentation you want, you can go to docs and add new doc. Just paste any documentation URL Cursor indexes it, and now it knows that framework better than most senior developers. This alone will save you hours of googling. Secret 4, cursor notepads are like having a personal assistant that remembers everything. Most people ignore this feature, but it's actually a productivity goldmine. Let's create new notepad. First you have to expand this, this tab and create new one. Rename it as you want, for example, let's say naming conventions. As you may notice, Cursor named our Python files in snake case, which is default for Python. But let's ask Cursor to name our Python files like it would name it in Java, for example. Now we can mention this notepad by entering its names. Despite default snake case naming convention in Python, our new file created was named lasagna recipe in camel case, which means our notes are working perfect. I mean, notepads. Think of them as your personal prompt library. Common code patterns, project guidelines, anything you find yourself typing repeatedly. Save it in a notepad and reference it instantly. Secret 5. Cursor rules are the difference between amateur and professional AI usage. This is what will separate the beginners from the 10x developers. Rules are automatic context that applies to every conversation. To set up rules, you have to go to cursor settings and then rules. Here you'll find user rules and project rules. 
User rules are global and they are used for all of your projects. But project rules are local for each project separately. So let's say we can specify user rules that we don't want cursor to return code and explanation of this code for example. This alone saves me from scrolling through unnecessary text every single time. And also you can specify project rule or just create new dot cursor pro uh, dot, dot cursor fo folder and inside uh, create rules folder. Inside you have to create rule for example let's name it again naming convention let it be snake case and uh, mdc. When you're naming file like mdc it will automatically show you all of those controls required for better configuration of your rules. Now let's just copy text I've I've written inside this notepad and use it inside rules. Now when we want cursor to create new file with recipe for example of um, pizza you can see that it automatically attached naming conventions rule here. It will be the same as if you will attach cursor rules here and specify some rule inside. And again it named our pizza recipe in camel case so it works perfectly. Secret 6. Cursor writes better commit messages than most developers. It analyzes your changes and previous commit history to generate perfect messages. You should initialize git repository obviously uh, before using it and then let's say we want to commit some uh, changes with initial commit. Then let's ask our AI to refactor our uh, pizza recipe to Hawaii pizza. Now we are accepting this file, going to git tab and asking it to create new commit. Which shows us that it renamed pizza recipe class to Hawaiian pizza recipe and uh, updated ingredients. So we don't have to write it manually like git commit um, updated and blah blah blah. Secret 7 cursor commands that will save you some time and peace of mind. To use any command you just have to type slash and then you have this list of commands. Uh, I personally think that most interesting ones are generate cursor rules and add open files to context. Now let's say we want to do something that requires us to read context from all of those files we have opened. Previously you may used files, then pizza recipe, then again mention files, um, naming conventions, then again mention and so on. But now it's enough to type slash and just add open files to context which will open automatically all of those files opened in uh, your main section of cursor. Secret 8, cursor ignore and cursor index ignore. If you have huge code base with tons of files, you probably don't want cursor to read all of them. But you want to focus it on some specific directory or some specific files. This is where cursor ignore steps in. You just have to enable hierarchical cursor ignore. Cursor will look for cursor ignore files in your project and will ignore those files you specified inside. With it, cursor becomes laser focused on exactly those files you want it to be focused on. And it helps it to respond a bit faster. Secret number 9. MCP tools. MCP tools give cursor superpowers beyond cutting. I have actually covered this in one of my previous videos, so if you're interested, check it out after this one. MCP connects cursor to external tools, databases, APIs, file systems. Cursor can now read your database, manage your files, even controls other applications. It's like giving AI hands. Check out what it can do with Blender. And finally, feature number 10. This one is quite insane. Background agents that are actually coding while you sleep. Background agents create a copy of your project and work on tasks independently. You give them a task, they work in the background and you review the results later. These secrets will transform how you code entirely 
And if you found this video valuable, please don't forget to subscribe and check out that MCP video I mentioned earlier. So, see you in the next one.